You've probably seen this ad about getting abs over 40 pop up occasionally on YouTube. And I wanted to set the record straight and actually correct some information that I find that can be somewhat misleading. Now, I personally don't have anything against Mark McKillier or his training product. I can't comment on it because I've never seen his training program, but I'm pretty sure that it's not what they say it is, that it's this new type of exercise that is scientifically designed to help men over 40 finally get rid of belly fat. And that's what they claim. Folks, there really isn't anyone coming up with anything groundbreaking or new exercises that hasn't, that haven't, that hasn't existed already. What you will find is that people are constantly coming up with different programs to, ad to address different people with specific fitness goals. And that's actually a good thing. Unfortunately, some people will give you misleading information in order to entice you to buy their product and that's where I come in. You see, I'm trying to balance things out by providing correct information whenever I see someone putting out incorrect information. Now, I'm not saying that Mark, Mark McKillier is trying to mislead you, but he does make a statement that's not altogether correct and this is what he says. Well, when it comes to cardio, like running on a treadmill or elliptical, it might sound like a good idea. I mean, it's better than doing nothing, right? Wrong. In fact, one study done by the National Strength and Conditioning Association showed that performing traditional cardio exercises for long durations actually left testosterone levels depressed at 24 and 48 hours post-exercise. The study that Mark is referring to can be found in the link that I'm going to provide for you in the description box of this video. But it's from the official research journal of the National Strength and Conditioning Association, which he cites. Now, the study conducted had nothing to do with performing traditional cardio exercises for long durations. The study actually examined neuromuscular and hormone responses in the order of exercises that was performed. So what they did is that they took 42 young men, which by the way were untrained, and had some of them perform cardio exercises first and then strength exercises second. And they had others perform the same exercises in reverse order, doing the strength exercises first and then the cardio. What they found is that testosterone levels had decreased in the group that performed cardio first, but not in the group that performed strength training exercises first. The group that performed cardio first experienced a reduction in testosterone levels from 24 to 48 hours. Now I agree with Mark that you don't want your testosterone levels to decrease at any time, but I don't agree with what he says about this. The key for older guys like you and I to getting in shape and even having six pack abs comes down to one thing, increase your testosterone production. Now, if you didn't know, your testosterone hormone determines how much belly fat you'll burn and the speed of your muscle and joint recovery. Although testosterone does play an important role in losing fat and building muscle and getting fit, especially as you're getting older, you know, it's not the only thing. Um, if you don't watch the amount of calories that you consume and you overeat above your total daily energy expenditure, you're not going to lose weight. I mean, even if you're eating healthy foods. Um, I also do agree with Mark that the types of exercises you do can have an influence over your results. He basically states that doing long bouts, I'm sorry, long bouts of exercise can be counterproductive. And there have been studies done on men old between the ages of 40 and 55 years old that ran more than 40 miles a week where their testosterone levels had decreased. Not only that, there was another study at a university in Brazil where they found that healthy young and middle-aged men had their testosterone decrease by 50% after running a marathon. Not only that, but in the same study, their cortisol, their cortisol levels even doubled. Now, if you don't know the damaging effects of cortisol, I suggest that you do some research and you'll find that it can greatly mess up your fitness goals. So I'm hoping that you found this information helpful. I'm just trying to set the record straight and, come, and, you know, and, and uh, correct some misleading information that's out there. So as I come across these magazine articles or a supplement or perhaps an advertisement that has some incorrect information on it, I am going to put out a video to set the record straight. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get a notification of those things. Thank you.